heard that adding retinoid or retinol to your skincare routine is not the worst thing in the world. The two ingredients help increase cell turnover, which can help with clearing acne and reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Basically, it's just I said a holy it. grail beauty <laughs> product. But it's easy to go overboard fast when using retinoids and retinol, and that is why our next guest is going to talk us through how to correctly and without any fear, use them in our skincare routine. She's, it, she's admonishing me with her words. In, For somebody in the most who like way. joining us now is board certified <laughs> dermatologist and the most stylish guest we've had in a yeah, long really. time, a doctor. <laughs> Adarsh VJ Mudgel. Hello and welcome. By the way, he styles himself. He it's said. great. I do. It's great to be here. Well, you cannot, in my humble opinion, you cannot be someone at the helm of aesthetics and not be aesthetically pleasing yourself. Oh. You've got his jeans are from TikTok. I, I know. The TikTok yeah. trend. Yes. Okay. I honestly saw. I didn't think he was here for us. I was like, that man is just it's too impossible nice to be here for a new. Um, <laughs> I hope that you are prepared for this to be a therapy session because uh, uh, I have a certain way of feeling about retinol, and by the end of this session, yes. we'll see what happens. But let's start from the very beginning because we had this discussion yes. in our meeting yesterday: yeah. retinoid versus retinol. Please break it down. All I right, know one is a derivative, but 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 in layman's terms, yeah. explain so, it to us. That's a great question. So. Let me describe what they are first. So okay. retinoids and retinols are vitamin A derived substances. They interact with our skin cells to have, they have like a myriad of cosmetic benefits. Uh, they unclog our pores, decrease pore size, uh, micro exfoliate our skin, mm -hmm. um, stimulate collagen, which mm -hmm. gives our skin a more robust appearance mm -hmm. and help to prevent fine lines. So all like amazing things. Mm -hmm. Now the difference between the two is retinoids are super potent. You need a prescription to get them. Okay. Retinols are what you find in over-the-counter products, things that like CVS, Sephora, that sort of stuff. Okay. They both will get you to the finish line, but I'm a big fan of retinoids versus retinols because you know why use why not use a fire hose instead of a spoon? Right. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I want to back up for a second. It's a derivative of vitamin A. Yeah. What it's is, vitamins, Marty? Yeah. So what does vitamin A do for our skin? That is so, so really fabulous. The, the four. Well, there's like five things that it basically does. So it's used to treat acne. Um, that's it's like fundamental treat. That's it's like fundamental job. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, but when we're treating acne patients, we saw all these cosmetic benefits. So now all of my cosmetic patients, patients coming for Botox, lasers, fillers, that sort of stuff, everyone's on a retinoid because the main benefit is preventing fine lines, stimulating collagen, mm -hmm. micro exfoliating our skin, and reducing pore size. Those are like the key things that retinoids do. Okay. All of which everybody wants, right? Sign me up for all that of that. That was the yeah. next yes, question. Please. I okay. like all of those things, evening out skin tone, texture, and all that. All right, business. well, we, the, then we, we understand the benefits at yes. this point, right? Yes, Ms. I'm Mati, still so, here. Okay. I'm still here. So, then I, I always think back to when I was a teenager and in middle school and mm -hmm. then high school and I had not great skin. It wasn't, my sister's skin was way worse and we would go to the dermatologist just in tears and they would always give us the prescription retinoids like mm -hmm. the tretinoin and, and stuff like that. So then I feel like later on in life, I, it was all about the retinol. So mm. does it depend on the age? Does it, but who's a good candidate for which one? Yeah. Well, anyone and everyone's a good candidate. <laughs> and really using a retinoid is what I prefer. So they're much more potent. Because fire hose yeah. versus thing. Exactly. I mean, there's a lot of nuance that goes into using these products, um, particularly retinoids. Um, as long as you're not pregnant or nursing, it's a big part of like okay. any anti-aging strategy. You know, so I have like three pillars of my anti-aging okay. strategy. Let's using a retinoid at night, using a titanium or zinc containing SPF 30 yes. sunscreen okay, every morning, sure. and then Botox. Those are the I am on oh, all awesome. three of those Good. pillars. I'm I on love two it. of the three. Okay, so how do we incorporate these products into our skincare routines? Is it a cream? Is it a serum? Is it a what? Talk to me. So the prescription versions are generally creams, mm -hmm. um, and the key is like less is more mm -hmm. when it comes to retinoids. So the big that's what I've big seen people oh, try it, and then all of a oh, sudden their face is on yeah. fire. So the big problem I see is overuse of it. So like yeah. kind of like slathering around your skin. Oh, yeah. A half a green pea size amount is enough to cover like the average face. Oh, so what you do is you put like a little dab of like half a green pea, half a green pea size amount in your palm. Stick your finger in it, make little dots on your face, and massage it in. Oh, it's like a game. Even with that, you might not be able to use it every night. So some of my patients can use it like every night if they have oily skin. Mm -hmm. Some can only use it like two or three times a week. Okay. Some have to cut it with a moisturizer to be able to use I it. I have heard of that, yes. Yeah, so you have to kind of like 
Listen, you're not going to go to the gym and start lifting 225 pounds. That's right. Like, you're not going to bench press 225. Although what you a haven't wonderful seen comparison us. For, to use for explaining this to you. There you go. So you we have like to, to throw build heavy things up right. your tolerance, right? So some, you, as you use it more, you'll be able to tolerate it. And I've told friends in the past, I said, because they, they've for, for the same reasons that you are fearful. That, oh, I don't want my skin, to, my face yeah. to be red. Because you can wean yourself off of the, you mix it with moisturizer first, and then you slowly build up the tolerance, exactly. and then you just go to the... 100% just the product. Okay. Now, so to that degree, you're using it at night. Mm -hmm. How many times do you, do you recommend starting off once a week? Good or question. So you have to listen to your skin. Yes. So what I tell my patients is, say you use it tonight, right? Okay. And then tomorrow in the morning, your skin's like dry, flaky, or irritated. Take a couple of days off, let your skin recover from it, and then try to use it again. Maybe use less, maybe cut it with a moisturizer the next time you use it. Um, the key thing with retinoids is you want to prevent that irritation that you can sometimes right. get, which is like the purging. That's that what I was just going to ask. Yeah. I've heard of this purging. What is mm -hmm. that? So that's, that's irritation from the retinoid. Okay. It could be dry, flaky skin. You could break out with some pimples. Um, that's inflammation in the skin. Right. And inflammation right. is not a good thing, right? right? So you want to avoid that inflammation. So listen to your skin. Work your way up. You know, so start with, you know, start once, see yes. what happens, and then make, yeah. a, make an adjustment. Start and then don't have an enormous event the very next day. No. Um, yeah, it's probably good. In the, in the event that something... Prob probably for the best. Probably for yeah. the best. And you know, if you need any more questions, you can just go visit Dr. Munkin. There he is. Come on down. Right You've here. You've got the practice in Lower Manhattan, correct? On the yes. Gold Coast. Yep, 5th and 10th. All, All right. right, 5th and 10th. There we go. Dr. Munkin, thank you so much again thank for you. enlightening us and for joining us. That's, That's right. It's great to be here. Thank Thanks so you. much.